What was that? You must have heard about or seen lightning and thunder, right? Today, let's actually learn about lightning and how it occurs. To learn about lightning, we need to know a little more about clouds. Because clouds make lightning, right? During summers, the ground is hot and it heats the air above it. This warm air rises. As the air rises, the cold temperatures at the highest cools the water vapor down, which forms a cloud. As more and more air continues to rise, the cloud gets bigger and bigger. If the temperature at the top of the clouds falls below the freezing point, the water vapor turns into ice. Now, the cloud becomes a thunder cloud. Lots of small bits of ice bump into each other as they move around. Can you guess what would happen because of this motion? Yes, we have already studied that whenever two objects rub against each other, they get charged. So even here, clouds develop an electric charge. The particles that are positively charged accumulate at the top of the cloud and the negatively charged particles sink to the bottom of the cloud. The more the ice particles rub against each other, the more the cloud gets charged. As I mentioned, there are huge accumulation of charges at the bottom of the cloud. This very strong negative charge repels the electrons on the surface of the ground and makes the ground positively charged. Since these charges are oppositely charged, they should attract each other and make each other neutral, right? Then why does that not happen? That is because there is air between these particles. And air does not let electric charges flow through easily. So the charges go on accumulating without becoming neutral. When the magnitude of the accumulated charges become so large that it can overcome the resistance of air, they get discharged suddenly. This discharge may take place in between clouds or between the cloud and the earth. What would happen when the electric discharge takes place between the cloud and the earth? There is a negative charge in the cloud and a positive charge on the earth. As we know, unlike charges attract each other, so the negative and positive charges meet, producing streaks of bright light and sound. We see the streaks as lightning. And why is it dangerous? The charges accumulated get discharged to objects on the earth like buildings, trees and even people. The huge charge may light a fire and destroy life and property. We will learn more about how to protect ourselves from lightning in other sessions. Now let's recap how lightning occurs. Clouds develop charges due to the collision of particles inside them. Lighter positively charged particles form at the top of the cloud. Heavier negatively charged particles sink to the bottom of the cloud. This induces a positive charge on the earth. Lightning is a sudden discharge that happens to neutralize the charge difference between clouds and between the clouds and the earth. Great, that is all for now. I'll see you soon. Until then, keep exploring.